Well, so what's the benefit? Blood pressure. One of the most really? important things we can do for our health is to manage our blood pressure, right? High blood pressure, danger for heart attack, for stroke. And so here's a study by Penn State University. What they found is that spiced foods can actually lower your blood pressure, your, the systolic blood pressure, by three points. I want to explain this. Systolic blood pressure is the first number of our blood pressure. Right. Uh, so 120 over 70, that right. 120, that first number is a systolic. 140 is when your blood pressure is high and in the danger zone. Right. For every point you can lower it, you lower your risk of stroke by 5%. Wow. So something like spice mix that makes our food taste better also makes our health better. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Did you know that some of the spices sitting in your kitchen cupboard could have powerful health benefits? Today, we're going to explore the fascinating research of Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned medical doctor and scientist who has dedicated his career to studying the effects of dietary components on human health. Dr. Lee's forward-thinking work has shed light on the incredible healing properties of certain spices and their ability to combat disease at the cellular level. From turmeric's anti-inflammatory powers to ginger's potential in fighting cancer, these humble pantry staples are proving to be nutritional powerhouses. In this video, we'll dive into Dr. Lee's cutting-edge research, uncovering the science behind how these spices interact with our bodies and potentially boost our immunity, reduce inflammation, and even starve cancer cells of their fuel. So get ready to be amazed as we reveal the hidden superpowers of spices and learn how incorporating them into our diets could be a delicious way to support our overall well-being. Join us on this flavorful journey as we explore the intersection of ancient culinary traditions and modern medical discoveries with Dr. William Lee. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Well, right. So black pepper is, so this is an interesting thing. We, most of us have heard that turmeric, which is a kind of a, a root, um, when you cut it open, it's this bright, beautiful, bright orange, a lovely color. And, and turmeric is also a dried spice used in Southeast Asian cuisine, uh, including Indian cuisine is where I first became acquainted with it. It um, uh, not only makes food beautiful it actually makes food delicious it's got a quite a, a lovely taste to it it's a it's a spice inside the turmeric is curcumin curcumin is one of those natural chemicals kind of like lycopene it's one of those mother nature's treasure chest mother nature's pharmacy with an f not a ph and the 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 the, the curcumin has a lot of properties anti-inflammatory it's antioxidant it cuts off the blood supply feeding cancers um it uh, uh actually is helpful for your stem cells as well it's it really activates almost all of your body's health defenses and it's good for your gut microbiome so why not just you know enjoy turmeric as a spice by itself because it's so potent that our body actually doesn't absorb everything that it could. In fact, our body kind of, uh, it kind of gets, a lot of it gets flushed out, you know, uh, the, the tail end. And so what we want to do to improve our body's extraction of the good, um, the good stuff, the, the term, it turns out that if you have fresh cracked black pepper, all right, there's a substance in fresh cracked black pepper called piperine. Yeah. Piperine is one of mother nature's, um, uh, again, you know, these remarkable chemicals that actually uh, in influences the body. And piperine helps the body hang on to the curcumin. So if you have fresh cracked black pepper with your turmeric, uh, you, you're actually creating a one-two punch that allows you to absorb more of the curcumin. Of course. Turmeric, of course, is the brilliant yellow root that gives curry its vibrant color and distinctive flavor. But its active compound, curcumin, is also what gives turmeric its therapeutic properties that have been revered for centuries in Ayurvedic medicine. Dr. Lee's research has been shedding scientific light on curcumin's incredible healing potential, particularly when it comes to combating inflammation and cancer. One key issue he addressed is how to increase curcumin's bioavailability, as it is poorly absorbed in the body on its own. Interestingly, Dr. Lee found that combining turmeric with black pepper significantly boosts curcumin absorption. Black pepper contains a bioactive compound called piperine that inhibits metabolic enzymes that typically break down curcumin, allowing more of it to be delivered to the cells. With increased bioavailability, curcumin's superpowers really shine through. 
It's a potent anti-inflammatory agent able to block inflammatory pathways while also ramping up the body's own anti-inflammatory defenses a dual action approach. In Dr. Lee's cancer studies, curcumin demonstrated the ability to interfere with every stage of tumor development and spread. It can promote cancer cell death, cut off blood and nutrient supply lines, feeding tumors, and even sensitize cancer cells to chemotherapy. Remarkably, curcumin seems to selectively target cancer cells while leaving healthy cells relatively unharmed a sought after but difficult to achieve effect with most cancer drugs. Dr. Lee's team also made the fascinating discovery that curcumin can boost levels of healthy intestinal stem cells that create new cells, while simultaneously purging potential precancerous stem cells. This one-to-punch could help rejuvenate the gut lining and prevent future cancers from taking root. From fighting inflammation to starving cancer cells, Turmeric's bioactive curcumin has transformed from an ancient remedy to a modern-day disease fighter, thanks to trailblazers like Dr. Lee and covering the science behind its power. And simple additions like black pepper can amplify those therapeutic effects. So while more research is still needed, adding a dash of turmeric and black pepper to your curries, smoothies or golden milk lattes may be doing a whole lot more for your health than just providing bright color and flavor. Hello everyone, Dr. Will Lee here. What if I told you that you probably have a powerful ingredient for burning fat and improving your metabolism in your pantry right now? I'm talking about cinnamon. And you probably think about cinnamon as a powder that you sprinkle on top of hot apple cider or an apple pie. But cinnamon is actually the bark of a tree and it comes rolled up in a stick called a quill. Cinnamon has more than 20 different bioactives that can influence your metabolism. And one of them is called cinnamaldehyde, which can trigger your brain to release a hormone that fires up your brown fat. And this can improve your metabolism. A clinical study from India showed that cinnamon can improve blood glucose, shrink waist size, and even reverse metabolic syndrome. What's the dose? The researchers showed that the effects were seen with just half a teaspoon of cinnamon per day. Cinnamon has long been prized not just for its warm, comforting flavor, but also for its medicinal properties in traditional systems like Chinese medicine. Now modern science is validating what ancient practitioners observed centuries ago. In his research, Dr. Lee found that cinnamon contains potent anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and antioxidant properties stemming from its richness in polyphenol compounds like cinnamaldehyde and metabolites like sodium benzoate. Let's start with cinnamon's anti-inflammatory effects. Chronic inflammation can drive diseases like cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and rheumatoid arthritis. But studies by Dr. Lee's team demonstrated that cinnamon extract could significantly reduce inflammatory markers and even outperform some anti-inflammatory drugs. Cinnamon's antimicrobial abilities are also drawing a lot of interest. Its bioactive components have been shown to be effective against a range of bacterial strains, including antibiotic-resistant superbugs like MRSA. This could make cinnamon a valuable alternative for fighting chronic infections. Cinnamon! Perhaps most fascinating are cinnamon's potential anti-cancer effects that Dr. Lee has been intensely studying. His research revealed that cinnamon extract can actually reprogram a cancer cell to start behaving like a normal cell again through genetic modulation. On top of that, compounds in cinnamon can disrupt the formation of blood vessels that feed tumor growth and progression, essentially starving cancers of their nutrient supply. In animal studies, mice fed a cinnamon-supplemented diet showed significantly reduced size and incidence of colon tumors compared to the control group a remarkable finding. While most of the cancer research is still preclinical, Dr. Lee has teamed up with oncologists to explore cinnamon's effects in human clinical trials for various cancer types. The early results are quite promising. Of course, cinnamon is just one part of an overall healthy diet and lifestyle. But Dr. Lee's pioneering work suggests this humble household spice could pack some heavy-hitting medicinal punches. So the next time you sprinkle some cinnamon on your oatmeal or baked treats, you'll know there's a lot more to this warm spice than just its delightful flavor and aroma. Here I am uh, very excited to share with you something that's important if you like herbs and spices and you want to find out where something that you may have heard about comes from. I'm always curious about that stuff. Um, one of the things that you might use for the fall holidays is bay leaves, right? Use bay leaves for sauces, you might use it for uh, flavoring. 
uh, something that you're making in the oven, a roast or something of some sort, a stew. All right, I'm going to show you where bay leaves come from. This is a bay leaf shrub. It's an aromatic shrub. You can see this is exactly what you get. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to show you. This is a friend of mine cutting it. All right, here it is, bay leaf. Now, there is bay leaves actually smell really nice. I'm going to pick one off. I think you got to probably bust it open, peel it like that. It's aromatic, and the smell comes from a uh, a bioactive, an oily bioactive called uh, eugenol. Eugenol uh, is amazing because it uh, activates your stem cells, so it's a regenerative compound found in a um, an herb that you actually use pick from the garden from a shrub and uh, it also kills cancer stem cells it kills breast cancer stem cells which is a awesome plus uh, and um, and it's really cool so if you want to learn more uh, from me um, it's not too late to sign up for my October eat to beat disease course the links in the bio sign up we're going to talk more about seasonal things that you can do to elevate your health that's it for now Dr. Will Lee out. I'll see you in the course. While bay leaves are a common ingredient used to subtly season soups, stews, and braises, this humble herb may actually possess some remarkable healing properties, according to the research of Dr. William Lee. In his studies, Dr. Lee has been investigating the bioactive compounds found in bay leaves that could have anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and even anti-cancer effects. One of the star players Dr. Lee has identified is a powerful plant compound called parthenolide. This sesquiterpen lactone has been shown to reduce inflammation through inhibiting certain inflammatory pathways at the molecular level. Chronic inflammation, as we know, is at the root of many diseases, from arthritis to cancer to Alzheimer's. So by tamping down inflammation, parthenolide and other compounds in bay leaves could help prevent and potentially treat these conditions. Then the bay leaves. Bay leaves, bay leaves, bay leaves. But that's just the start of bay leaves' potential healing abilities. Dr. Lee's work also reveals significant antioxidant activity, which can neutralize free radicals and protect cells from oxidative damage linked to aging and disease. Perhaps most exciting are bay leaves and e-cancer properties uncovered by Dr. Lee's team. Studies indicate that parthenolide can actually induce programmed cell death in cancer cells while leaving healthy cells unharmed. It does this by disrupting certain signaling pathways that cancer cells use to proliferate out of control. Bay leaf compounds can also cut off the blood supply that tumors need to grow and spread to other parts of the body. In animal model studies, mice-fed extracts from edible bay leaves showed reduced tumor growth, fewer instances of metastasis or spread to other organs, and an overall increase in longevity compared to control groups. While still early, these findings have Dr. Lee excited about exploring bay leaves as a potential adjunct therapy combined with conventional cancer treatment to make them more effective and cut down on toxic side effects. Of course, much more research is still needed, including human clinical trials. But this ancient herb, used for millennia in cooking and folk medicine, may just contain some of nature's most potent disease-fighting compounds. So the next time you toss a bay leaf into your pot of soup or sauce, you'll know there's a lot more to this aromatic leaf than just its distinctive woodsy flavor. Its therapeutic potential is just beginning to be unlocked thanks to pioneering researchers like Dr. William Lee. I actually love capers, my favorite thing to add. They're salty and wonderful, but beyond the taste, what are the benefits? Yeah, so capers are little flavor bombs. They're actually the flower buds, and they actually have a natural chemical called quercetin, which also helps improve our circulation, which is good for our skin. And so the thing that I like to do with capers, for example, there's so many ways you can do it. You can sprinkle it onto a chicken dish, like a chicken melanese with capers and lemon. You could actually use it, eat it with bagels and lox. You could actually um, uh, put it, chop it up with tomatoes and stick it into a salsa. So here's like little tiny ways you can actually help your blood flow, help your circulation, help your skin. All right, so then this is a little salsa we made. Basically, what I usually do if there's a food that I really think has great health benefits, I'll Google dishes with capers, and then that pops up, and you can just, just go from there. Just mix it right in there. It's just delicious. mix it right in. When you think of capers, you likely picture them as a tangy, briny garnish for things like lox and bagels or chicken piccata. 
But these humble flower buds may be a remarkably potent disease fighter, according to groundbreaking research from Dr. William Lee. Capers? In his studies, Dr. Lee has identified powerful bioactive compounds in capers that could have significant anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and even anti-cancer effects. One of the star players, Dr. Lee, found in capers is a phytochemical called quercetin. This powerful antioxidant can help neutralize free radicals and oxidative stress that contribute to aging and many chronic diseases. But quercetin's benefits go far beyond just its antioxidant capabilities. Dr. Lee's research shows it's also a potent anti-inflammatory agent that can inhibit inflammatory pathways and enzymes involved in triggering the inflammatory response. Gee, I wonder how much. And just let me pivot back to the capers here for that. What, a tablespoon a week? Or? Yeah, I mean, you sprinkle some on. It's really, this is like a, a condiment that lights up your health. Chronic inflammation, as we know, is an underlying driver of conditions like cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and Alzheimer's. So quercetin's one-two punch of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects could make it a valuable therapeutic compound. Perhaps most exciting are the emerging anti-cancer effects of quercetin and other compounds found in capers that Dr. Lee has been intensively studying. In cell models and animal studies, caper extracts have demonstrated the ability to selectively induce programmed cell death in cancer cells while leaving healthy cells unharmed. They can also disrupt the angiogenesis process that tumors rely on for blood supply and metastasis. In mice studies, animals fed quercetin-rich caper extracts showed significant reductions in tumor growth, decreased instances of cancer spread to other organs, and even increased longevity compared to control groups. Special capers from Italy. While still early, these promising results have Dr. Lee exploring capers and quercetin as potential adjuvant therapies to make conventional cancer treatments more effective and reduce toxic side effects. Of course, much more research is still needed, including human clinical trials. But the fact that these tiny, unassuming flower buds could be such a dense source of potent disease-fighting compounds is yet another example of nature's incredible healing potential. So while capers alone can't prevent or cure disease, adding a sprinkle of these tangy delights to your dishes could provide some extra antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and even anti-cancer support thanks to the fascinating therapeutic properties uncovered in Dr. William Lee's pioneering research. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.